Every day at practice, we're working hard to get to know these pitchers and get to create that bond with them. So getting to catch them this past weekend was something special, something unique. You know, it's our first time out on the field together. So we just really had to trust that bond and connection that we've created over these past few months and just trust the game that we've worked so hard for. So it was very exciting to get to work with all of them, and we're looking forward to some more. Uh, they did great, you know. They came out, they threw hard, they stuck to what they know, and I looked forward to seeing them grow more and develop further, so I'm excited. Um, I feel like once you're out on the field and you have everyone around you, the stands, the fans, your team, it just develops that connection that you don't really get in practice, you know, the that game-like experience. So once you're out there and, you know, you're feeling the music, you're just having a great time, you know, that's just how I play. That's my love for the game. I like to keep it loose, fun, um, very passionate, you know. So if I do my little thing, you know, <laughs> um, that's just how I keep my focus in the game. Um, from the outside, she looks very hardworking, very like this is how it is. But once you get to know her, you get to know the family side, the caring side, that person you don't see on the outside. So once I got that connection with her, it was very hard to turn the school way. And I was very excited that I'm here and getting to play under her now. So. Um, these people here are great, you know, you get to experience them outside of softball, so all the girls and everybody, you get to develop the outside connection and get to see them, and it's really fun to make those connections and get to learn everybody. Do you have the EEAP club over the summer camp that did like things with all the girls there as well, so that's a team that come up here, and you and Ray are, are, are there now for like the four of you, so what's the, what do you think some of the big differences between SEC softball and Big 12 softball that OU's made this step? Um, I haven't really gotten into the Big 12 yet, or yet, but um, SEC softball is a tough schedule. Um, we're playing one of our toughest schedules right near right now for Oklahoma, so I'm excited to see how that matches up with how everything's going to play out. And you know, was it hard to adjust being part of this team? And if it wasn't, why was it such an easy move? Um, well, before we started practice, I got here early and kind of just got to hang out with the team before we started practice. So I think just having that connection prior to practice was very helpful. And just knowing I could trust them before stepping on the field was a lot easier of a role in for me. Um, I'd say early it was kind of the transfers. So just because we were all coming in together, we got to know each other really quickly. Um, but as we continue to go on, I've developed a lot of connections with each and every one of the girls, and they're going to keep developing as we go on. So to see that happen is going to be exciting. Jacob, talk to you know, the other day. Jay was talking about how you compare guys' personalities and what he thinks is going to help you in your season. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jada is a fun, loving, free spirit. So just getting to be around that every day is, it's a good time, you know? Like, I like to connect in that way. So just having our goofs, our laughs, and then just knowing a time when we have to lock back in is very helpful because we'll kind of just look at each other and know that it's it's our time. So it's fun being around her, and I really enjoy it a lot. Um, funny story, actually. So my number is 45. Um, growing up, that was my number since I can remember. I think I got it when I was seven or eight. But um, Carlos Lee for the Astros. Uh, he was a left fielder, big power hitter. His number was 45, and we shared the same last name. So I was like, well, he's a professional. I want to be a professional. Same last name. So I just took his la like took his number and. Growing up, I would tell people, like, that's family. Like, we're, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's older than my parents. <laughs> but it was just, it was a good time. So, I did grow up an Astros fan. So, 
I'm still an Astros fan. <laughs> Die hard. So. With all these other bats in the lineup, does it feel like it's less pressure on you? Has it freed you up more mentally or anything like that? I feel like once you just get in the box, it's a different game. It's more of you versus the pitcher. So however you want to approach that as a hitter is just kind of how you take it. So, I mean, you can look at it as more pressure when I was elsewhere or here being more free. But, like, at the end of the day, like, it's me versus her, and that's when I'm I'm going to hit the pitcher no matter what. So that was just kind of my approach to everything. I'd say a lot of teams throw hard early. You know, they try to get aggressive more uh, in the zone. So I think just be in attack, in attack mode and just find that strike that I'm looking for is going to be important for me rather than taking a pitch and then not getting that pitch again. So. I feel like it's almost a little easier because once a pitch is over the middle, it's a lot easier rather than having to play chase with the pitcher and hoping for a strike. So I like when they go hard. So, For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.